What's up, everybody? It's your boy Marsman here, and today I'm joined with Frank to go over Super Mario Bros. Wonder and give our official review of the game by talking about the good, the bad, and our final verdict, tell you whether or not you should buy this now, later, or not at all. So when I'm thinking about this game, there's a lot of great things about it, and I'll start off with the good, and I'm thinking about the fact that this is probably one of the probably one of the few times where Nintendo kind of takes a really a major leap of faith in a Mario 2D game and it feels like it's been a very long time since we've seen a very unique story in the way that this game was set up. I mean, I, I've been saying this for a long time. Really, Nintendo has to kind of take a, a kind of a risk at times to kind of create a brand new world or a brand new kingdom because whenever they do, they always land on it. I've never seen them make a bad new antagonist or bad, uh, bad characters when they take that leap of faith and having really Mario and the crew go and travel to a new kingdom to go meet a new royalty and, and see new worlds. That is always a really good sight to see for a Nintendo game, especially for Mario. And they kind of hit this on the mark. I mean, the fact that you look at the worlds, they're very unique. They look very bright, very vibrant and very just different. And I feel like that is one of the best strengths of this game because I feel like way too often have i been playing i've been playing mario since i was like four years old so every single game i played with mario has always been in the mushroom kingdom right and all of a sudden once they start dropping in new kingdoms and new areas to travel to i'm all i'm all for it i mean you saw this with odyssey you see this with games like mario Luigi uh, superstar sega with paper mario origami king or even paper mario thousand year door when they create a new place to travel to that's different you all of a sudden feel more uh, attached to these new Mario Galaxy, like these areas that are just different. And I feel like that is kind of when Mario's at is at its best. Mario games are at their best when it's a brand new place, new worlds to explore. And I really enjoyed the way in which this uh, this game was formatted, especially with the uh, you know the worlds. I'm not necessarily saying the story is like yeah, groundbreaking it's, in the and it's still in, Bowser doing something, Mario stopping him. Like it's more the I know what you mean. Like it's the storytelling and the levels. Yeah, yeah. I felt felt like the the levels were unique and the worlds felt unique. And not saying yeah. necessary the story is going to have you in tears or anything. I think it's more. Yeah, it's a very bare bones narrative game. Yeah, it, Mario games have uh, kind of relatively been bare bones in a lot of ways for a while. So I feel like it's just it's new world, and I feel like that's really where I enjoyed kind of that that first aspect. But but Frank. What is a thing you felt that was really good about this game? Yeah, I mean, there's two of them that really stand out to me, and I'm with you on, on kind of the content in the game. Um, but this is the, just to give some context, Barnes, this is the second fastest selling 2D Mario game in the UK's history, which we saw come out this week. We saw that it sold over 100,000 in France, um, top in charts there. We, I can't imagine what the charts are going to be in Japan and the US when we start seeing that later in this month. So this is already selling like hotcakes. Um, and I, I, I agree with you on the content. Our six main worlds. Um, this is a two hours longer game than the main story of Mario Odyssey. Now, Mario Odyssey took a lot, had more side content than this game, but it just shows you it's six hours longer than the new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, right? Which is kind of a more similar comparison um, to this game. So, and uh, they got 79 main levels, 132 total courses. Um, and what I liked too, and what I was always fearful of, and, and me and you played some of the co-op, was that was this game going to be easy that we could just scale through in a few hours? But I tell you what, the four and five star courses are pretty difficult. And so it brought a lot of um, just meat to the bone here. And there was 11 five star courses, 18 four star courses. So there's some good difficulty there, there that made it difficult where we died quite a few times. 24 badges too, kind of adding different abilities to your, to, to your path going through the game. Um, was fantastic and if i can add a second one was the online co-op um there's couch co-op and the online co-op where you can um help each other out you can race other people uh nintendo is very hit and miss when it comes to its online play and to me this was a hit on its online play we know about other games like advanced wars where they had completely floppy this one was a hit and i, I was kind of mixed on what it would be like with the collision aspect but they took collision out and I think it ended up being the right decision where you don't have collision jumping into people. You're pretty much playing ghosts, but those people can revive you. 
Um, you can get some little funny moments that I've seen on the internet and in our time playing um, where they help each other out and, and do some funny things that you see. So those two aspects, Mars, were absolute home runs. Um, yeah, I've, and it kind of build on one of the moments you said about the mechanics. I felt like the added new multiverse concept was smart. Oh, I feel yeah. like it, it, it's ways for you the to change the world. Yeah, the Wonder yeah. Flowers to change the world around you and kind of make it like an outrageous version of the world. And I, I felt like the character of the game, like the little jokes they added in with Charm. the singing, singing songs and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. That was just be and cartoonish. And I felt like they did a good job. It was definitely felt unique. And I know a lot of people are going to rag on, you know, this is the first time that Mario and Luigi have been voiced by somebody, um, somebody else, but not Charles Martel. And I know that's that's obviously a big deal. It's, he's been the guy for her forever. So it's like this is that first moment you can kind of hear a little bit of a difference between how Mario and Luigi speak. So, I mean, it's it's definitely a change for sure. It's it's kind of like a lot of people say this is the final hurrah for the Switch, um, the main Switch, not after before their new next gen refresh. You want to call it um, next year, uh, expecting to, to arrive next year. Uh, but with the good, we do need to talk about the bad. And and I think one of the biggest things that really grinded my gears that just made me frustrated was the lack of uniqueness of bosses i mean like i understand they include some you know based on trailers you can see there are some bosses like king boo does arrive and golden bowser and cosmic mario but all of these all these bosses are all 2d like get out of the way go to the right boss battles and they're not even battles like you're that you're just trying to defeat the enemy you're really just trying to survive and the bosses of that area are all baby Bowser, and I don't want to ruin. I mean, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, it, maybe that's a that's a spoiler, but it's something that Nintendo does at times, where instead of them being unique and creating a boss, a plethora of bosses, they use they stick to either Bowser, you just different variations of Bowser's fight, or baby Bowser. In this instance, you're just fighting the same character over and over and over again in different worlds, where you could have easily made it where you include maybe include king boo as a boss where you have to kind of like stomp him out or have golden bowser as like a, a stomp him out or you could have even done a thing where you're in a brand new kingdom create a new plethora of villains that bowser recruits to kind of keep him going because bowser's a damn castle so it's like you're limited on what you could do with him but now it's like you could recruit new characters because whenever they create a new cast of villains a new cast of characters in the Nintendo Mario game specifically, they always do well. Like these, they never had a bad job at making a villain. I never saw a Mario game have with a bad villain. I've seen them have always been solid villains, even fantastic ones, the ones I wish I saw again. Like yeah. th that's like what I've always seen. So it feels like Nintendo is is at times they can be very unique with Super Mario Bros. Wonder with this you know multiverse concepts. But then they go into the let's just do the bare minimum and just have baby bowser fight constantly and that's good enough for us and i feel like that's where i look at like th what this game could be and i say damn you missed on marks that could have made this the best 2d mario game ever right if you did these the different things because you look at the comparisons super mario bros world is always the one that most people say that this game compares to in the ways in which the world looks and how it's organized and i just feel like yes but that Super Mario Bros. World did more than what you know what we're seeing here. Um, but yeah, so what is a bad thing that you, that you saw here? I, I, I might know. add another one, but yeah, I have two, and you nailed absolutely one of them. The bosses, as good as the charm of these levels are, and these courses that have uniqueness to them, cartoonish moments to them, funny moments to them, the bosses were the were really the worst part of it. Um, do our time, and I'll add some stats. And we try to avoid spoilers as much as possible in our reviews, Mars. But there's 15 bosses in the game, and, and this is the one thing I'm going to kind of show. You fight Bowser Jr., Robot Bowser, and King Boo 9 out of the 15 times. That's 60% of the bosses, right? So those three guys you fight in Bowser Jr., like you mentioned, four times, and Robot Bowser three times. So it's just, I like that King Boo's involved, but boy, with so much uniqueness in the levels and courses, there was zero uniqueness in the bosses. And that's what the unfortunate part is. Unfortunately, it's very repetitive. I wish with so much charm that it could have leaked into the bosses. And the second thing, Mars characters. I love that there's eight characters. 
I actually also uh, like that, you know, they, they tried to create some accessibility characters in Yoshi, which I love. Yoshi and Wish it wasn't an access character, but I understand it and have it. And they did try to change where, okay, yeah, they can't get hit, but they also can't use power up. So that was kind of a give and take from them. So I, I think that's a nice thing that they did, but they all play the same, right? So all the main characters play the same. And I kind of wish that they each had different attributes that separated themselves from each other. I think that would have been, um, we've seen that in other 2D uh, Mario games, um, which have kind of made things, you know, bring a little bit extra spice and kind of like technical, you know, things on whether to, to go between different characters on what you choose, but they all play the same. And I wish they had some distinctness and uniqueness to them. And I also wish like Yoshi's, you get to choose different colors, Mars. I wish you could do different outfits for the other main characters. I think it would have been kind of cool for some customization um, just to bring some really cool, especially some of the cool photos that they take in game. I think it would have been a pretty, uh, a nice little twist that they could have done. Yeah, I, I agree with you. If you want to think about like how Mario 2D games have been unique, even during the Game Boy Advance era, like, they, they made characters different feels based on, you know, this is, we're talking about back in the day, like Super Mario Bros. Uh, yeah. Two, like they they brought in, Peach yeah, they, a little bit. Toes yeah, like, Joe, yeah, toes are fast. Yeah. Luigi can flow a little bit more. Like even Yoshi's, like I know Yoshi has that floating mechanic, I believe, but yeah. but like you could get as much as I get having Yoshi character the way he is. Why don't you have a setting that turns on that stuff, and you can just have Yoshi be a character, right, as a playable character, yeah. and then you don't have to isolate him being like the OP, yeah, like in cool case character. you stink, yeah. like you can just use Yoshi as that character. or or like you said, for accessibility for for people that want to just pick pick Yoshi. But yeah. I mean, like I just feel like it's just it's a missed opportunity. But the last thing I'll say is like it's it's a, it's a maybe it's a little thing, but multiplayer when we played it, they have this locking mechanism that just butchers a lot of the issue, a lot of the fun that you can have with the multiplayer. Like, meaning that if you get to the the end of the the map first in the previous level, you are now the center star of the next oh, yeah. mode. Right, yeah, and all of a sudden now time. it's like you have to then carry the entire map with you, versus you could have made it where you just carried each other. Like you can't go. For, like, the previous games done this. This is not the first time they've had a local multiplayer, right? Where you could have the map only moves when both characters are within the box, yeah. right? Not necessarily there has to be the main player because yeah. there have been times when me and you played. You know, yeah. I played. I played with my girlfriend. We 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 played several games where it's like whether she was leading or you were leading and i was behind and i got killed because i wasn't with you close yeah. enough right and it's just like you know you it's i feel like there's yeah, little the things like that yeah, the couch yeah. yeah it's like it's like that's the thing if the online co-op doesn't have the problem with that like then you can i think local is so easy you could have done like they've done it before that's why i was more frustrated because i've seen them accomplish the same feat but with that being said, let's jump into our final verdicts, and then we're going to give our official ratings as well as uh, whether you should buy this now, later, or not at all. Uh, I, when I look at this game, I think the biggest thing for me was that it was definitely a plus with the new additions and uniqueness of what this game is. I feel like a lot of people, including me, whenever I see a, a Mario 2D game, right, and they've been pumping these out probably more often than 3D games, and as clear as day. If they've given out the Luxus like three times in a row and I've been sitting there like, yeah, I don't know if I want to buy Super Mario Bros. Gold or, or Deluxe or Luigi, Super Mario Bros. Uh, Luigi. Like, you know, like they keep doing the same, you know, formula every time. So when they announced that they're coming out with a new 2D Mario game instead of like an Od uh, Odyssey 2 or anything like that, I was frustrated. But when I, when I actually get to play the game and see more of it, I was happy they did create this installment because it's a kind of like a new era of the 2D Mario games that has unique it has it's a new new world it's vibrant it plays well and it's fun to play and the only issues that i see is that sometimes they can be unique with the world building but then at the same time they don't want to take that leap of faith into character additions or new people to involve uh, yeah. things like that just because it, it just kind of frustrates you because you know that they are capable of doing it and they clearly made a world with new characters but no no bosses that are different so yeah. and the little things along the lines with multiplayer kind of had me sitting at an 8.5 and i know maybe that's a little bit down compared to some people but i think an 8.5 is still a very good score it's a good game 
I think that when you look at what the Mario Super Mario Bros. Wonder has done, it has definitely set the stage right for the future of 2D Mario games if they follow the same formula here and even expand upon it with, with new bosses or even a possible DLC because they've shown that they can do that uh, with the Bowser's Fury. Like they, they've shown that they could make an addition, a DLC pack, and basically be very successful. So I think this is a definite buy now. Uh, if you have a Switch, you want to have some fun with some people around you or just want to play by yourself, I think it's, it's going to be a good game all around. So 8.5 for me, buy now. It's definitely a, a, a one of the, the top tier games of this year. So Frank, what do you think for your rating and should we buy this now later or not at all? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit higher. I'm at an 8.9. I'm also at a buy now. And I think this is a great game and just below an elite game. And it's pretty much because the charm and the courses are great. Um, there wasn't really a time where I was like, wow, this was a washed course. They each had their own uniqueness and I don't want to spoil. Um, a lot of them had their own uniqueness. The different worlds were great. Um, and I really can feel, you know, just the base on that, it could get into the nines. But boy, the, like you said, the leap of faith on creativity on the worlds just did not carry over into the bosses. And to me, that hurts, especially in the 2D platformer where courses are king and then the bosses are that extra spice to it. Um, and they just, like, they weren't terrible, but just like, man, it doesn't live up to the rest of the game. Um, and so that to me hurts it, but it's still very great, very good to great game, just not an elite one for me. And this is supposedly before the game came out, Mario C team that they were talking about worked on this. Boy, if this is Mario C team, I can't wait to see what the B and A team are working on because they really did a good job. They deserve a lot of credit. I think this is the best probably 2D Mario game in the last 20 years. I just don't think it gets to the level of a Mario Odyssey or Mario Galaxy and probably not Super Mario Bros. 3, right? So really good game really good installment probably locked itself in especially with the sales that we're going to see from this as a game of the year nominee and i think it deserves it so i'm definitely going to buy now yeah but what do you think about super Mario bros wonder are you excited to jump into the action for this new game let us know what you think in the comments below and if you like this type of content leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more future content until next time this is marsman signing off peace out guys mm -hmm.